happy Saturday and welcome to the Wellness Weekend. I'm Jane Highfield of Secrets Beauty. I work from home doing natural hands-on treatments and we're using plant-based skincare. So last week I asked people to send in some questions and they have done so I'm going to answer those today. I'm going to go more into detail over the weeks with mature skin, makeup on mature skin, eyebrows because I'm really big on natural eyebrows. Um, one of the questions was today, um, sent in from a single um, mum who uh, who has very little time to put makeup on in the morning and has asked for minimal products um, and a makeup that just looks great and doesn't take much time. So I'm going to do that while I'm answering the rest of the questions. Hope that works out. Um, and um, yeah, so I'm going to start off with um, a tinted, either a tinted moisturiser, a tinted factor, which would be great because you're doubling up then and looking after your skin. We all should be wearing factor during the day, um, winter and summer. So this is actually a tinted moisturiser factor 50. So I've popped it in my hands, emulsified it, fattest part of the face, forehead and chin, and then just blend all that in. So easy. Okay, seconds. Just keep patting with your skin as well because your hands are warm. It just helps blend it. Okay, that's one product. So one of the questions, why are my lashes longer on one side? Um, that could be because you're sleeping on one side um, and they could be getting caught on the fibres of your pillow. Um, if you're continually lying on one side, then that could happen. Um, it might just because, you know, our faces aren't exactly the same either side. So it could be that they're just longer on one side. You always have an eyebrow that's thinner on one side. So it, it could just be naturally. But um, how to alleviate that? I would say um, a silk pillow, silk pillowcase. If you've not tried one yet, you really should. They're so great. So they're great for your hair. They're great for your lashes and eyebrows because the fibres don't catch um, or pull your hair out. If you've ever woke up in the morning and you find that you've got lots of hair on your pillow, that doesn't happen with a silk pillow. And it's also very good for wrinkles, so it's a win-win. So yeah, I'd suggest to use a silk pillow and possibly alternate the side that you're sleeping on. Easier said than done. Right, so the next one, what do I need to use to nourish mature, mature skin? Right, so um, I could go on to a whole load of products, but one product I would say that you definitely need, and that's a serum at night. The skin needs to respire at night, um, and it also repairs itself at night between the hours of 12 and 3 a.m., I think it is. So that's when all the good work's done on your skin and you, naturally mother nature just helps us um keeping looking as good as possible so to nourish and mature skin a serum it's so natural and light that it is absorbed by the skin so it gets in deeper it gets to the deeper layers that need it and you'll instantly see in the morning that it's nourished and it's more glowy so definitely if i was just talking about one product then serum all the way, but you can use it underneath your moisturiser during the day. But the, the most thing that you need to do is use a serum at night. It's like a must. So um, next stage I'm going to use, now I love cream blushes because they're so natural, especially with mature skin. And if you're putting a um, BB cream or, or a tinted moisturiser or tinted factor on, you need to use um, cream on cream so far more um, natural looking so I'm using a peachy shade here so I'm just going to put that on the apple bit of my cheek just above so it's always just above for a more mature lady so and then just blend that in easy peasy okay then this can also go same product 
in the corner of the eye, the cream blusher, and I've got them in several shades. Just wonderful. So, okay. Then I'm gonna pop that on my lips. So that's how many, how many times did we use that? So that was cheeks, crease of the lid, lips. Okay, then I'm just going to pop a little bit of darker, darker uh -huh, uh -huh. gloss on the top there, just to give more definition. Okay, right, so next question. Do I have to take all my products on holiday with me? What, what could I leave behind? Okay, so you definitely need your factor for your face. You definitely need a cleanser, but most cleansers can double up as a nourishing cream anyway. Um, I definitely say your serum. So because if you're going abroad, definitely, you need to put back into the skin what's taken out during the day. So yeah, so your factor, for your factor for your face as well as your body your cleansing product because that can act as a, a moisturizer for during the day and your serum so that you are treating your skin at night um tony you can while you're on holiday you could just splash the skin with cold water so that will close the pores um, and if you are taking makeup off then i'd just do a double cleanse but also your cleanser can double up as, as a moisturizer for hands for elbows for knees etc um yeah so so i would i would recommend that just to um not take as many products really so just going to finish off that makeup with some mascara now my mascara always ends up here so i never put it underneath as we get older um the skin here gets more puffy so then your lashes when you close your eyes it's touching and of course if we get warm then it ends up even if it's waterproof ends up underneath there and then um you can't get it off especially if it's waterproof so i just go corners from the lash just corners little flutters and voila So you've got a bit of colour, excuse the hair, but I have been working all day. Yeah, so, and there it is. Good enough to bump into anybody at the school gates. Okay, so uh, we've done the holiday one. Eyebrow tips to make you look as if your eyes aren't droopy. Difficult one. Okay, so good eyebrow shape, really into this. If you haven't got them tinted, tint them because the definition is just definition and a shape is like instant Botox. And all my clients, every time they've ever come in for their first treatment, are wowed by it. So yeah, tinted eyebrows, because as we get older, our eyebrows start to um, fade. So, and we get gray ones in there. And even if you're younger, if they're not as dark as your hair, it's always more definition if you colour them. And then a good shape, it's all about a good shape. Um, and that can just lift the lid. So, but a couple of the rules of eyebrow shaping. As we get older, we don't want them coming down here. So we want them shorter. So it makes, so it lifts that area. So your eye falls on a shorter brow. If it's down here, it looks more uh, heavier. And droopy okay so when you're measuring your eyebrows at home it's corner of the nose corner of the eye and then anything that's here you can take away don't make them too short because then it kind of makes your eyes look closer together then corner of the nose corner of the eye and then anything here you can take away don't take anything away from here you can not the dark hair you can wax or pluck above this line to give more definition, um, but don't take any hairs away. And your natural um, peak should be, if you just go right in the middle of the iris, it should, your natural peak should fall here. So if you're taking any eyebrow hairs from here, you're altering the shape so it'll make it look quite odd. You can remove hairs from underneath and you can taper the brow so it's thinner on the outside. Or you know what, just go and have it done by a professional.
because it's just one of those things that just truly makes a difference. Okay, so that's holiday, mature skin, lashes on one side. And why does the skin age? Lots of different factors, and I'll go into this more. Um, but it's, it's actually starting to age at the age of 25 onwards. And um, between the ages of 40 and 50, we lose all the natural collagen that's being made in the skin. So your fibroblastic cells, they're called, naturally slows down. Your skin renewal slows down, so that's all part of ageing. In every layer of the skin, there's something happening in maturity that's taking away your moisture, um, your, natural, uh, your natural moisture of your skin, so it gets drier, it, it gets more wrinklier, it gets the collagen loss is what then gives you the hollow cheeks um, and the turkey neck, that type of thing. Um, so we will go. We will definitely go more into that um, and what we can and what we can actually do about it. But as going back to one of the most important things in is keeping it nourished and wearing a factor. They are your skin insurance, really. So good skincare routine. At least you're wearing a, using a serum at night. That's the repair time that your skin needs to be absorbing something really good and natural and then you have to protect you from the sun. Okay, so I hope that was good for you. Um, I don't know how many takes I've done of this. So, and the dog hasn't barked this time, thank goodness. So please send some more questions in, it's great. And if you're thinking it, somebody else might be, so it's answering questions for other people as well. So have a good day, enjoy the rest of the wellness weekend, and I'll see you next week, bye.